Hi everyone, today we are going to do half square triangles two at a time and we're going to go all the way through from the math till we have two half square triangles. So I have my little diagram here. The first thing you have to have is what size your half square triangle needs to finish at. So if your pattern calls for a four inch half square triangle, that's where we're going to work from. So we're going to go with four inches. So the traditional math formula is that finished size plus seven eighths equals what you cut it at. So for a four inch, you would cut a square that's four and seven eighths. I don't like adding eighths. So seven eighths is like super close to an inch. So to make it easier, that's what I do. I take finished size, plus one equals cut size. Finish size plus one equals cut <coughs> size, excuse me. So for a four inch half square triangle, I need to cut five inch squares because Four inches plus one inch equals five. So let's move to the cutting board and let's cut some half square triangles. Okay, everyone. So I have my two five inch squares. And so I just grabbed some out of the charm pack. This is Day in Paris by Zen Chic for Moda. So now <clears throat> we need to sew them and we have two options of how we mark them for sewing. Uh, one yeah. is to draw a line on the back corner to corner with a marking pen. One of my favorites is just a good old Crayola washable marker. Okay, so there we go. When we go to the sewing machine, we would simply put the edge of our quarter inch foot on the line and sew on either side of the line. Now, what I do a lot, especially if I'm doing small half square triangles, since my sewing machine is in a cabinet, I have a workspace. So I take a piece of painter's tape and I measure. So I look to see how wide my tape is. And then I move it over a quarter. And I draw a line, a thin line. So I'm using one of my writing pins for this. And then I move it over a quarter. And I draw another line. And then I move it. So there we go. And draw a third line. And then I don't worry about the edges of the tape. <clears throat> so I take this to my machine. This middle line is where my needle runs. So I try to get that as close to where my needle comes down. And then I'm a quarter of an inch from either side of that line. And then when I put my half square triangles 
up on my machine. So when I go to my machine, I have my two squares put together and I align the point up over here on the one a quarter of an inch away from the needle. And I sew along making sure, you know, this point stays on that line. And then flip it over and do the same thing. And then I didn't have to draw. This only works if your half, if your squares are small enough that you can see both ends while you're sewing, if you're doing great big ones, line. So let's head over to the sewing machine and let's sew them. So when I go to my machine, I have my two squares put together and I align the point up over here on the one a quarter of an inch away from the needle. And I sew along making sure, you know, this point stays on that line. And then flip it over and do the same thing. And then I didn't have to draw. This only works if your half, if your squares are small enough that you can see both ends while you're sewing, if you're doing great big ones line. So let's head over to the sewing machine and let's sew them. Hey, so I'm at my sewing machine. I don't have my painter's tape on this machine. I just haven't done it. The piece that I showed you in the last segment will go on this machine. So I'm going to use the line that we drew instead. Line up my foot on there and just sew. I'm doing this at a slight angle from my machine so the camera has a better view. So my stitching may be a little wonky. I'm just gonna turn it around, pull it out just a hair, line back up on that line and go again. And there we go. We have just sewn two half square triangles together. Now we need to head back to the cutting mat so we can get them cut apart. Okay, we are back at our cutting mat and we have our half square triangle. So the first thing we need to do is cut them apart. So we're just gonna cut on that line that we drew. And ta-da! Okay, so now we're gonna, we have to press them. If you are using a pattern, but using this method instead of the method that your pattern said, check to see what way they say to press them. Um, if not, I always press to the dark, so I'm gonna go press to the gray. Okay, so we now have two identical half square triangles but they're not four inches. Oh, let's measure one. They are actually, yeah, about four and a half. Um, the, the amount that you get to trim really depends on how big your half square triangle is. The smaller they are, the more trim room you have, the bigger they are, the need to be more careful. But when looking, we're gonna take just a minute to talk about the ruler. Uh, this is a Quilter Select ruler. I'm in no way, shape or form uh, sponsored or affiliated with Quilter Select. It's what my local quilt shop sells. We saw a demo, we fell in love with their products. As you can see, cutting mat, ruler and rotary cutter but 
whatever ruler you pick to square up your half square triangle, there are some things that it needs to have. You see this diagonal line? You need one of those, and I'll show you why. So when we take this, <laughs> I'm going to mess one up. And I'm just going to slap my ruler down. And I know that I'm going to trim the four inches. So I'm, but I want to trim on both sides. So yeah, that looks about good. Really weird doing this with a camera. This is a new camera setup from how I have previously done. So now I'm going to put my four inch line around the edge and chop the Helps if you press down when you're cutting. Big no-no there, I put my rotary cutter down without closing the blade. There's my half square triangle. And this is not gonna work in a quilt. Because when I go to sew, my diagonal is not in the corner, which means it's not gonna look right when we sew. Oh, this, no good. That's why we need that line. I am more worried about that line than I am the numbers. So, on my first cut, I'm going to put that 45 degree line right up against my seam. Now, there are rulers that have a channel there so you can kind of push up against one side and lock it in real well. And all I'm doing right now is making sure that my bottom is with, you know, my block is held within the four inch. But I don't want to go all the way to the four inch because I want to be able to cut off the other side. So, got that all lined up. And there I go again. Always make sure your blade's closed. Now this time, I want my four inch line along the edge that I just cut and that diagonal right up my seam. Gotta remember to push down. I'm trying not to bump my camera. When I do that side, so I'm not so now I have a half square triangle. Doesn't that look much better than that? Oh, your ruler got to have that 45 degree angle. Like I said, there's a lot of manufacturers out there. Find the one that works for you. Join us next time when we will do half square triangles eight at a time.